California's Senate is expected to vote tomorrow on whether to give terminally ill patients the right to end their lives with a doctor's help. Four states currently allow this. California's bill is based on an Oregon law which authorizes doctors to prescribe a lethal dose of medication to patients expected to live less than six months. Dr. John LaPook takes a closer look. After four years of radiation, chemotherapy, and multiple surgeries, 51-year-old Elizabeth Walner is still fighting cancer that has invaded her colon, lungs, and liver. Well, I call it whack-a-mole cancer now because we beat it back and it pops up somewhere else. She's also fought the state of California, suing for the right to end her life when she chooses. And I've experienced just unimaginable pain and fear and um, I, don't, I don't see any value in my last days being spent gasping for breath or writhing in pain. Uh, and that one, of course, is from our wedding day. That is a fear Dan Diaz knows well. Last year, Diaz's wife, Brittany Maynard, became the face of the right to die debate. She was diagnosed with brain cancer at age 29, then moved with her husband from California to Oregon. How dare the government make decisions or limit options for terminally ill people like me? She was simply saying it, it's ridiculous that as Californians, we have to leave home, drive 600 miles north, in the middle of her being told that she is dying from a, from a brain tumor, nobody should have to do that. Just weeks before she ended her life, Diaz made his wife a promise. See if we can get legislation passed mm -hmm. so that nobody else has to go through what she went through. What'd you say to her? And what was the, the answer is, yeah. He quit his job and became a full-time advocate for the Right to Die movement in California. In Oregon, from 1998 to 2014, more than 125,000 patients died from cancer. 668 took a physician-prescribed lethal dose of medication. You apply for that medication, you secure it, you put it in the cupboard, and you keep fighting. You, you just have that there as, as a last resort. Marilyn Golden is a disability rights advocate and part of a coalition of medical and religious groups who oppose the bill. If an insurer denies or even merely delays someone's expensive, life-sustaining treatment, they are being steered towards hastening their deaths. Do we really think insurers will do the right thing or the cheap thing? I'm keeping my promise to Brittany and, and fulfilling that promise, but it certainly is bittersweet. Diaz told me for him, this doesn't stop in California. He'd like to see this option available for terminally ill patients across the country. At the same time, there are people on the other side of this issue who feel just as strongly. So we have certainly not heard the end of this debate. Dr. John LaPook with some powerful reporting. John, thank you very much.